Tired of getting held up at that temporary four-way stop at Alder and Roosevelt? For the past two months, it's been stop and go there because a dump truck and trailer knocked a signal pole down. The UB's Andy Porter says today it'll probably be another month or so until the light signals are working. That's because it took a few weeks for the city to determine how to proceed. The work requires the construction of wheelchair ramps and additional right-of-way had to be acquired. Andy also will have details on efforts to douse a 370-acre blaze southeast of Athena. Fire managers expect to have the Eagle Creek fire completely contained by today, but a news release Sunday night said crews still had a lot of work ahead of them. That's because it's in an area with a lot of dad and down timber and slash. Impact is a program at the community college designed to have a profound effect on lives. And Friday, graduates attended a first-class reunion at El Sombrero. In a story today, Maria Gonzalez reports on the event and the program that helps displaced homemakers receive an education, find work, and reach other services. Airline pilots nationwide are saying, fill her up. They're complaining that their airline bosses are desperate to cut costs and forcing them to fly uncomfortably low on fuel. The Associated Press reports that the pilots say safety for passengers and crews could be compromised. Rob Broadhead really got into the swing of things Sunday at the All-City Golf Championship. Rob surpassed Saturday's leader, survived a three-hole playoff, and successfully defended his 2007 championship title. You can read all about it in Ken Morgan's story today in the UB's sports section. And even the Jolly Green Giant would be excited. Did you see Carrie Chicken's story Sunday about a new industrial park in the works for Columbia County? The Port of Columbia announced late last week that the park would be all about food processing and job creation. The cutting-edge eco-industrial park would house many, many food processors and use regional products, according to Port Manager Jenny Dickinson. And we'll have a fresh array of news and features tomorrow when you return for another edition of The Daily Bite.